welcome to Catalan News. Today marks five months since grassroots pro-independence leaders Jordi Sánchez and Jordi Cuixart were sent to jail to await trial. Spain's Supreme Court is keeping them behind bars for their role in various protests against a Spanish police operation over the preparations for the referendum. Some protests are taking place right now, so in today's show we'll be on the ground to gauge the atmosphere at one of them. Jordi Sánchez is the candidate for president, but the judge continues to deny him an opportunity to take office. Here at Catalan News, we'll also give you the latest on the Catalan leadership issue. The Catalan pro-independence parties are still holding talks to unblock the presidency of the country. The main forces reached a compromise in case the judge turns down all of Jordi Sánchez's appeals for permission to be sworn in. While no government is formed, Madrid's rule on Catalonia continues and its effects also go on. The Spanish government has removed the Catalan Secretary of Public Information unilaterally. This high-ranking official, Antoni Molons, was charged yesterday with misuse of funds and disobedience. This happened after the Spanish police raided his home and his office in the Catalan government headquarters yesterday morning. The officers also arrested him for some hours. He is investigated for possibly founding the referendum and will be summoned to appear in court in the near future. This move by Madrid shows that direct rule in Catalonia is still in operation three months after the election. Why? The Catalan parliament has been unable to swear in a president. The post is in the air, as Spain has opposed the two proposed candidates, Carlos Puigdemont in Brussels and Jordi Sánchez, who is in jail. The two main pro-independence parties, Junts per Catalunya and Esquerra, have agreed to wait until the judges decide on the latest appeals, hoping for Sánchez to be released to attend his investiture debate. Both parties believe that Sánchez still has a chance to take office. Hi ha marge i hi ha opcions perquè això es pugui fer de diferents maneres, hi ha diverses opcions i per tant jo crec que aquí hem de ser tots molt conscients d'aquesta responsabilitat, repeteixo, compartida, compartida que tots tenim que això pugui anar endavant. Yet, in case the judges deny him the permission, both parties have agreed to propose another candidate within 48 hours. Meanwhile, the minor coup party, essential for a pro-independence majority, is not accepting Sánchez so far, and People's Party leader in Catalonia suggested today not appointing for president anyone involved in the independent judicial case. As you've just heard, one of the keys blocking the election of a new Catalan leader is the fact that Jordi Sánchez is in prison. Along with Jordi Cuixart, the men were the leaders of the two main pro-independent civic organizations in the run-up to the referendum. And today marks five months since they were incarcerated. Two ministers of the deposed Catalan government are also in a Madrid jail. Some protests across Catalonia are taking place to protest these precautionary measures. To find out more about the rallies, we can now speak to our reporter, Alan Ruiz Terol, who is in Barcelona. Alan, how is the protest unfolding in the Catalan capital? Hi, Neil. We are currently in Plaza Universitat, at the very heart of Barcelona. People were just chanting a second ago, freedom for political prisoners. Pro-independence organizations, Catalan National Assembly and Omnium Cultural have called an organization here to demand the release of the jail leaders after f five months, exactly five months. It's been 151 days. Although the leaders face uh, criminal charges of rebellion and sedition for their role in the dependence beat, the Catalan National Assembly in their manifesto stress that they are held behind bars for their political ideas. This is defending Catalonia's right to self-determination. We've seen a lot of people uh, wearing yellow ribbons, uh, wearing yellow scarves, which have become the symbol to demand the release of the, of the jail leaders. And organizers stress that every month, as long as the jail leaders don't go free, they will continue to call demonstrations. Let's move to economy now. One of the best known Catalan cover producers, Freshenet, has a big change ahead. Some of the firm's major stakeholders held a meeting today with Henkel, a German multinational industrial company. The aim is for the group based in Dusseldorf to buy 50.7% of Freshenet's shares. After two years of talks, Henkel is set to take control of the cover company, which for a number of generations has been owned by different branches of the same family. According to sources in the family, this operation won't affect the family structure or its philosophy. Let's now cross the Atlantic Ocean to Mexico, as the Catalan cinema has had a few pleasant days in this Latin American country. The Catalan film industry played a prominent role in a prestigious film festival in Guadalajara this past week, something that has helped the visibility of some productions. 
Latin America's top film festival has come to an end. With Catalonia as a guest honor, more than 30 Catalan works were screened at the Guadalajara International Film Festival in Mexico. The international public was able to see and enjoy Catalan productions for a week. Films such as Anchor and Hope and Salmon 1993 were screened at the Guadalajara Festival, but there were more than feature films. Catalan documentaries and short films were also given some much needed international visibility at the festival. After the screenings, the audience's final assessment was quite positive. El público que ha venido a ver las películas catalanas me ha comentado que les ha fascinado la película, que es un es un cine diferente que el que tenemos aquí en México. Y técnicamente está muy bien trabajado, muy bien hecho cada toma cada encuadre, cada, la fotografía, todo, eh, todo muy bueno. One of the festival's top moments was the Catalan filmmaker Ventura Pons receiving a prize. The director of Anita Takes a Chance and What's It All About was given an award for his career. And he took the opportunity to thank the Guadalajara Film Festival for having Catalonia as the guest of honor. Decirles que estamos muy contentos, estamos muy contentos en Catalonia de que Iván nos dedique este festival a la nación más antigua de Europa, que es Cataluña, con el Parlamento más antiguo. Ventura Pons was not the only artist to get an award at the festival's 33rd edition. The Barcelona-based feminist porn filmmaker Erika Lust also got a prize. The award celebrates Lust's work. She tries to transform sexual diversity and to show new paradigms of sexuality and gender, always from a feminine perspective. Catalan Productions enjoyed an international platform in Mexico. At the Guadalajara International Film Festival, the Mexican public had the chance to see some of the most successful works by Catalan filmmakers. Meanwhile, it was a great opportunity for Catalan Productions to raise their international profile. In Mexico or elsewhere in the world, the Catalan artist Salvador Dali needs no festivals to improve his visibility. Some 30 years after his death, the surrealist painter is still attracting attention especially with the recent paternity suit. Today, the case moved one step closer towards its conclusion. Last July, some parts of Dali's body were exhumed after a judge ordered a paternity test after a woman claimed she was the artist's daughter. Last night, the remains used for the test were reinterred in his grave in the Dali Museum in Figueres, his birthplace in northern Catalonia. The surrealist artist's DNA proved that the woman, Pilar Abel, is not related to him. Yet the exhumation did prove that Dali still has his iconic moustache, reading 10 past 10, like clock hands, according to the Gala Salvador Dali Foundation, which is in charge of his estate. Before we go today, we want to show you the works by some other artists. They are much less well known than Dali, but are still able to make spectacular creations. They are people in the Valencia area, bordering southern Catalonia. Yes, we are talking about the failures. This world-famous celebration features caricature figures, or ninots, of celebrities and dignitaries, all of them just to be burnt on March the 19th. And with all the political turmoil in Catalonia last autumn, it is no surprise that Carlos Puigdemont, Uriol Junqueras, the King, and the Spanish Constitution, among others, are the main characters. Have a look for yourself, and we'll be back on Monday.